Huhai. Kia ora koutou katoa and good evening everybody. Thank you so much for allowing me the opportunity to share a few words with you. Can I acknowledge the special guests here who are this evening, uh, who are with us this evening? Uh, the Honourable Porto Williams, a uh, very new minister in the government, which is fantastic. Um, and uh, the members of parliament, uh, Duncan Webb and uh, Joe Hayes. Uh, now, I know that, uh, that um, Paolo Garcia is going to be here, but uh, he's coming from the airport. I'm told the plane has landed. Uh, so, but he's not in the room for me to acknowledge, so you will tell him that I acknowledged him before he arrived. Um, and uh, can I acknowledge my city councillors? You know, this is a Saturday night, and uh, some of our councillors have got uh, family and uh, things that they are needing to do. Uh, I bring apologies from councillor Jimmy Chen. He did want me specifically to mention this because he was going to come. He's been leading the way with our multicultural strategy, and I know he wanted to be here, but his previous engagement has gone on too long, so he's not able to join us now. Um, but I've got Councillor Yana Johansson, Councillor Anne Galloway, uh, and Councillor uh, David East. And it's just great that, um, that all of you uh, have been able to join with me um, tonight. And I often ask this question, uh, which is, because uh, we know that we now have our first Filipino Member of Parliament, uh, but I often yeah. say to people around the country, I say, do you know we're our first uh, Filipino uh, councillor has been elected? And they all think it must be Auckland. And I go, no, it's Ashburton. That's because Canterbury leads the way. <laughs> Canterbury does it best. <laughs> so, um, but I want to acknowledge uh, and congratulate the organisers of this wonderful, wonderful show. I've been to one of their shows um, before, I think back when I was a Member of Parliament. Uh, and, um, and Lodi, thank you to you. You're an amazing person. Now she's got her back to me. She's not even listening. I'm just, saying, I'm just saying you're the most amazing person. This woman has worked so hard, you know, and to make this happen and to hear her stand here and say that you have made it all worthwhile. Let's give her a round of applause. Um, and I did notice that uh, your uh, the mayor of Manila has uh, sent a, a personal message, so I'm going to write to him on Monday, and I'm going to send him a message back and say we heard his message and thank him very, very much on behalf of the people of Christchurch. Um, as mayor of Christchurch, I have the honour every month of uh, hosting citizenship ceremonies. And I love citizenship ceremonies. I don't know if I've given anyone their citizenship certificate who's here tonight, but um, I absolutely love the opportunity to. Can I say that a very large number of the people who get citizenship every month are, in fact, from the Philippines? <laughs> and, uh, Yay. and the wonderful thing is that there are so many wonderful and beautiful children and one night when I was doing the citizenship ceremony, all the children hugged my leg um, and gave me a big hug. So it made me feel very special uh, in my role as mayor. And I think what that speaks to is both family and, and the giving that um, Mr Cooper is it, uh, spoke about before. You know, the giving. And um, the Filipino community has been such a giving community and... You know, the rebuild, we know, it wouldn't have happened in the way that it has without our Filipino yes. um, builders mm -hmm. and, and, and tradespeople, people with so much talent in these areas. But I know the, I know the rest home industry, the retirement village mm -hmm. industry very well. My mum's in a retirement village. Well, she's in a rest home now. She's, she has dementia. She needs uh, full-time care. And I know that she is loved and looked after and I say thank you from the bottom of my heart. I know that her care and attention just simply could not be better 
and I know that the Filipino community are a big part of ensuring that that happens throughout the city. And, um, and just the final thing that I would say is that from a wider community perspective, the Filipino community just keeps on giving. And that's from our multicultural strategy, uh, from uh, leadership, the women leaders in the Filipino community, I'm going to call you out specifically because you give so much to the wider community. For those of you who do civil defence training, and I know I've seen many of you at tree plantings as well, just giving, giving, giving. And that to me is the greatest gift of all because they say that to give is to receive and to receive is to give. And I think that those, that reciprocity, that commitment, um, that araha, that love, it means so much to all of us. So thank you for all that you do. Have a wonderful night tonight. I'm looking forward to as much of it as I can stay for. Unfortunately, I have another event that I have to go to tonight. But thank you very much for letting me be part of it. Kia ora.